Well, in addition to fighting fires and responding to calls, Chattanooga police and firefighters are also dealing with their personal issue of possibly having their retirement pensions cut back next year. That issue is now contributing to a morale problem within both departments. How bad is it? And what do residents think? We dug deeper to find the answers to those questions. <laughs> While the police and firefighters pension fund debate continues toward an early February deadline, Chattanooga taxpayers are beginning to worry about police and firefighter morale. Anything like that, they need to talk it out. It's created a huge morale issue in my department. Police officers and fire officers who are leaving in droves. Rick Meyer is a 26-year veteran of the Chattanooga Fire Department. He says the talks right now between the mayor's pension task force and the city do not seem to be producing anything positive that will stop the drain of retirements in the police and fire departments. The first proposal would have cut $126 million from the pension fund. Meyer says that was reasonable. But other scenarios would slice $400 million plus in benefits. And that discussion is sending police and firefighters into a panic. Retired police chief Freeman Cooper says morale is about as low as it can get. Probably the lowest I've ever seen it in 30 years that I've been involved with city government. The lowest that I've ever seen it. But there may be hope on the horizon. Meyer sees a compromise in the next few weeks. He hopes both sides can live with. There's only two ways our pension can change. Our task, you know, the pension board signs off on it or it goes to a public wide vote. At least one taxpayer says she knows how she would vote. I feel for them. Um, I don't think their pension should be cut. By the way, we need to correct the record on the exodus from the fire and police departments. Yesterday, Pension Fund Task Force President Frank McDonough told us that there were 36 police and firefighters who retired last year. Well, Frank Hamilton, the fund administrator, says that number was actually 31, and the average retirement number over the past 10 years is 19. He does confirm there have been 43 retirements this year.